Hey, I'm going to start this lesson by showing you how Canadians put gloves on with one hand. You have to use your mouth. Um, anyways, in this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase to freeze the death. Now, to freeze to death. Sorry, I'm having trouble talking because it's so cold. Um, we use this phrase uh, sometimes to exaggerate. I mean, to use the word death to exaggerate something isn't very nice, but we do often use it in this phrase. For instance, if my son was going outside today without a winter hat on, I would say, put a winter hat on, you're going to freeze to death. I don't actually mean that he's going to die. That would be horrible, and that's something that I don't even want to think about. But we do sometimes use the word death when we exaggerate. If my son was going outside wearing shorts today, I would say, put some pants on. You're going to freeze to death if you don't. The other phrase I wanted to teach you today is the phrase to be frozen in time. When something is described as being frozen in time, it means that it hasn't changed. Probably the best example I can think of is that when my parents lived here, the house was frozen in time. They built the house and then they never painted any rooms. They never bought different furniture. The house was literally frozen in time the whole time that I lived here as a kid. Um, it's hard to hold these with big gloves on, by the way. I'll explain why I'm wearing my big gloves in a moment. Um, but yeah, the house was frozen in time. I think the same was true when I think about my grandparents' house. They lived in a house in town after they retired from farming, and that house was frozen in time. It had old brown wallpaper and all kinds of other things that just made you feel like they never changed anything. My grandpa had the same chair the whole time when I was a kid. Um, I think I'm doing the same thing now. I think, I think my uh, studio office in the house is frozen in time a little bit too. Anyways, to review, when you say someone is going to freeze to death, uh, one of the mean, it can literally mean freeze to death, but we do sometimes use it as an exaggeration to talk about how cold it is. Uh, and when something is frozen in time, it means that it doesn't change. Now, let me see if I can find the comment from the previous video. It's right here. Get my glove back on again. The comment is from Constantine. Nice shades, Bob. My son just finished reading Two Against the North, Farley Mowat, Canadian author, by the way. And there's an episode where the guy suffers snow blindness due to not wearing sunglasses. Cool story, and the sequel isn't bad too. Keep yourself warm. And my response, it can get so bright. Sun in the sky, sun reflecting off the snow, so much light. So yeah, thanks Constantine for that comment. Uh, it can get that bright. It can get so bright. It was actually that bright when I first came outside. Uh, and it might get that bright again. We'll see as I finish making this English lesson. Um, anyways, why the big gloves? Well, it's minus 17 today and it's windy. This is about as cold as it gets. If it gets colder than this, um, then I would probably be making the English lesson inside. Um, this is cold enough that when I went for my walk this morning, I wore my balaclava. I wore my uh, ski mask. I'll put a little picture here of what that looks like. Um, and uh, I wore multiple layers this morning. Man, it was, it was a chilly walk. But uh, what was I going to show you? Oh yes, this is a day where it's actually hard to move my fingers. This is a day where when I do go to work later today, I will be starting my van. Uh, I will be starting my van early. I will be starting my van probably 10 minutes before I leave so that it can warm up. Um, you do need to let your vehicles warm up. I know some people say you don't have to do that anymore, but it is nice uh, to at least get into the van and have the inside of the van a little bit warm as well. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in a few days with another short English lesson. Um, I'm enjoying the cold. I'm not too uh, annoyed by it. This is some good solid winter and uh, I'm really liking it. So anyways, bye.